This morning, family, friends, and dignitaries will gather to pay their respects and say their final goodbyes to civil rights activist Helen Chavez. Of course, the wife of Cesar Chavez died last week right here in Bakersfield. 23 ABC's Alex Batra is live in Tehachapi this morning where the services will be held. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Mike and Lindsay. I'm inside St. Malachi Church, Catholic Church here in Tehachapi, where that mass will be held honoring Helen Chavez starting at 9 o'clock this morning. Now, this church is very close to the Chavez family. It's a church that's often attended by members of the Chavez family. Inside this church, they're able to see a little more than 300 people. What, what they've done is they've set up seats right outside this church under a tent and also in the church's hall that seats about 400 to 400. 450 people. So they're expecting a large crowd here this morning honoring Helen Chavez, a capacity of about 400, uh, 1450 is what I've been told. And here, if you walk with me to this table that's set up here, we see some gifts that I've been told are going to be laid on top of Helen Chavez's casket. We see here a blue cross, some farm workers credit union receipts, also the United Farm Workers flag. And over here to my left, what I'm assuming uh, was one of of her favorite movies, uh, Mi Destino Eres Tu. Now, again, this mass will be held as starting at 9 o'clock this morning, but last night, hundreds showed up to honor Helen Chavez during a rosary vigil held in her honor. Now, mariachi bands, bands that is played there uh, while clergy said prayers. Carrie Kennedy, the daughter of Bobby Kennedy, flew in from South Africa for that vigil. Kennedy said Helen Chavez was a woman who will be sorely missed. This was an extraordinarily mighty woman, uh, somebody who deeply cared about the farm worker movement. Kennedy says she was moved by yesterday's turnout for Chavez, remembering what an influence the Chavez family had on her when she was growing up. Now, taking a look at exactly where today's ceremony will be held again, the ceremony here at St. Malachi Catholic Church will be held starting at 9 o'clock this morning. Afterward, that procession will travel back west on Highway 58 to Keene, about 15 minutes away, where Chavez will be buried next to her husband, Caesar. And of course, because of the high profile nature of services, Traffic will be an issue for residents in and around the Tehachapi area. A handful of streets will be closed off this morning starting at 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. Now for a full list of that closure, you can head over to our website, turnit23.com, or you can find them on our mobile and tablet apps. Now Chavez's mass this morning is expected to draw some big names. Among those attending, Carrie Kennedy, who we just heard from. Her father, Bobby Kennedy, marched with Helen and Cesar Chavez during the Delano grape strike back in 1968. Organizers are also expecting actor Edward James Olmos, the Hano music legend star Little Joe Hernandez, and former Los Angeles Archbishop Roger Mahoney, who will be delivering the final blessing for Helen Chavez. Now, throughout her life, Helen Chavez had the opportunity to meet a number of our nation's leaders along with her husband. Back in 2012, she met with President Barack Obama right here in Kern County during a dedication at the Cesar Chavez Monument in Keene. Now, following her death, the White House releasing a statement President Obama calling her a force of quiet strength with a legacy that will echo for generations. To read that president's full statement, you can head to our website, turnit23.com. One of Helen Chavez's last public appearances was last year when her husband received full military honors at his burial site in Keene. She received an American flag in that ceremony performed last April, 22 years after Cesar Chavez's death. Now, Cesar Chavez served in the Navy from 1946 to 1948. He also had two cousins who served in the military both dying in World War II. Now again, we are inside St. Malachi Church where that mass honoring Helen Chavez will be held starting at 9 o'clock this morning. Road closures in effect starting from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. I'm told they're expecting dignitaries and VIPs to be showing up in just a matter of minutes. I'm looking right outside the church. I already see a number of cars parked outside there. So we will, we will be bringing you the very latest here uh, from Tehachapi and later on in Keene uh, later on this morning. So you can follow us online on our website, turnit23.com, or you can download our mobile and tablet apps uh, to get the very latest honoring Helen Chavez this morning. Alex Bontres reporting in Tehachapi. We'll send it back to you.